Now here we have an artist named Paul Clay. Now he was an artist, a teacher, and a designer. Yeah, he's really cool. Let's check him out. Paul Clay was an artist that tried to use many different mediums such as acrylic paint, watercolor paint, drawing, sketching, and even oil paint. He is also known for using a lot of shapes and color mixing. Paul Clay was a Swiss artist who lived from 1879 to 1940. He is most famous for his many different styles of painting. He is also known for painting and drawing many different types of creatures. Some are more recognizable like cats and birds, but he also painted different types of fish and people. Here we have a dancing girl. Um, he is also known for showing a lot of fun things and silliness, but also showed serious subjects. Here we have death and fire. <laughs> he is also known for telling stories. This is about a person who was a captive in jail. Klee lived in Europe during World War I and was influenced by the turmoil and unrest in the world. He also was interested in the different types of landscapes like castle and sun. And these are called the talking walls. Paul Klee is also known for his art, but also as a great art teacher with his friend, artist Wassily Kandinsky, an artist we learned about earlier this year. Hey, Mr. Stone, I'm uh, just wondering what happens when artists can't think of an idea? Like, what do they do? I don't know. Like, what did Paul Klee do? I always wondered that. Can you help me for this again, please? Thanks. Many years ago, there was a famous artist called Paul Clay. He did all sorts of paintings and was always looking for new ways to create his masterpieces. Oh, I just don't know what to do today. Oh. Then one day, he had an amazing idea. I'm trying, I'm trying! Quiet, doggy! Can't you see that I'm trying to have a brilliant, amazing idea? Wait a minute, that's it! Drawing is like taking a line for a walk! <laughs> right. Paul Clay often drew his pictures by taking a line for a walk. OK, pencil, walkies. Here we go. Ah, oh, yes, right. Here we go. Off you go, go on. Yes, that's it, pencil. That's it, quick, quick, round the corner. Oh, that's it. Back, go on, run, go on, off you go. That's it. Loops, lots of loops. Very nice. Come on, come on, pencil, come on, pencil. That's it. Oh, yes! When Paul had finished taking his line for a walk, some of his pictures looked like fantastic doodles. OK, pencil, walk it! Whoa! Wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute, wait for me! All right, students, today we need a large piece of white paper and a Sharpie. We also need a picture of Cat and Bird by Paul Clay. I will have it on the screen for you. Uh, now we're going to orient our, our paper by knowing where the center is. So we're going to focus on the center of the bottom right here. So we're going to draw like a small heart right here for the cat's nose. Uh, you don't have to start with that part. I'm just starting with that part. Uh, if you look at the sheet that shows you, it has lots of different parts. Now I'm going to draw a regular J from the bottom of the heart and a backwards J. Uh, it also looks like an M upside down if you look at it this way. See. I also want to know where the center is that way. Now it's a little off center, I need to move it over a little bit. This is for us to orient the eyes. So the eyes start from the middle and then go to that. Now, oh, I almost forgot to put the mouth. So let's put the mouth in the neck, so just so we know. Now we're going to ready to do the eyes. So one eye is going this way. I like to draw a dot just to go from that dot to another dot. So I'm going to draw another dot. So I now go over and then cross. And then I'm going to go the other way. So if it helps to turn your paper, that's fine. 
And now I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to draw another dot across. And I'm going from that dot to that dot. And then back. Okay. Now I have my eyes. Pretty easy. Now I'm going to look at where the nose is. You see I want to make it from that middle part to the end of the part. And then the other side. Now we've got a cute little nose. And we want to put the eyes somewhere in the center. So I draw two dots again. And we're going to do the same idea where we go from the top to the bottom. There we go. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We're already cooking. Look, we got two great eyes. And now we're going to move on and we're going to do the ears. So from the center of the nose to the top of that upside down M, we're going to make the ears. And we pretty much have our cat almost done. Let's look at it. Oh, we forgot the whiskers. We need some whiskers. All right, so from the nose, we're going to make some wispy lines like that. Just kind of curvy lines. Maybe three to each side. That's a good number. All right, is there anything else? Oh, we got to draw the bird. So the bird looks kind of like a fish. So I drew a fish right there, you know, and then we're going to add another part for the head. Now, if you look at it, it um, looks like a circle like this. So look, see what I'm drawing here? That looks like a Pac-Man. See it? So let's draw that like a long Pac-Man. There he goes. That's how Paul Clay drew it. And then I'm going to draw two legs. So he's sitting on top of the cat's head. Looks pretty fun. All right, so it looks like we're ready to color. All right, guys, we're gonna be using pastels to color this today. Here's a copy of the how to draw sheet you guys can use if you choose to. And here's what it looks like with the colors. We'll leave this up so you can see the colors. You don't have to copy the colors, but this is a good place to start. All right, guys, remember to smear your pastels in because it's all about the way the colors blend. All right, guys, have fun, enjoy, and do a great job.